Hello everyone, Eric Sevry here and welcome to my computational science video tutorial. Uh, today we're going to be looking at creating functions in MATLAB. Uh, MATLAB is actually very easy I think for creating functions and it will do most of the work for you. So you can see here we have MATLAB up. I have some sort of Java error. Uh, everything appears to work so I'm going to ignore it. And over here on the left hand side you can see we have the current folder. And I'm just going with the default. And to create a function in MATLAB, it's a very simple process. We can right click in here and we're going to create a new file. Now in the past we created a script file and the script file is basically a program. What we want to do is we just want to create a single function. So we're going to open and create a function file. Uh, we're going to name our function just some function. And when we name our function, MATLAB is going to create the function file with the correct syntax. So let's open this up and see what it says. All right, when we have our function open, you can see uh, MATLAB has created some code for us. They have a comment in here uh, describing what the function does. And you can see it starts by saying function, and that's how MATLAB knows it's a function. And then we kind of have these brackets, and then it says output args. And that's where the output arguments are going to go. So I'm going to just create a simple math function where uh, y sorry, is going to be our output, and x is going to be our input. Uh, now all we need to do for our function is we just need to do some math. Uh, perhaps we can say something like, uh, you know, we might want to say the square, you know, square root of x equals square root x. I'm going to put a semicolon there so it's not printed to the screen. Uh, then we might want to say something like x squared equals x squared. We'll suppress the output. And then we might want to say that, you know, y is equal to 5 times x squared uh, plus 2x, I better do 2 times x, uh, plus the square root of x. All right, so now we're creating our variable for, or creating the value for y. We don't need to return anything in MATLAB because it knows at the end of the function, whatever value we've assigned to y is going to be the return value. So now if we come down here and if we do an input of something like 1, we can type some function and we can do the tab completion and it will find it. Now if we put a 1 in here, what should happen is the square root of 1 is 1. 1 squared is 1, so this is going to be 5 plus 2 or 7. Let's see if that's what we get. 8. Oh, did I miss something? Oh, okay, yeah. 5 plus 2 plus 1, so 8, so I missed 1. If we do some function and if we put a 4 in here, then the square root of 4 will be 2. Uh, 4 squared is 16. So, yeah, let's see if this comes out. Oops. All right, so 90, that's probably about right. 95, yeah, okay. So we can see that we're able to create mathematical functions very easily in MATLAB. Uh, MATLAB does not check the types. Uh, the only thing that'll happen is if you can't do an operation, it's going to kick out an error. Uh, there is a way to do type checking in MATLAB uh, using if statements and things like that, but that's not really what we're addressing at that time, so we'll just save it for later. This is just the basic way that we can create our own custom functions in MATLAB. Just a nice way to gather up information for simple computing. Alright, that's everything for today, and thank you for your time, and keep on coding!